Hey guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedasp.net. In this video, we're going to continue our series about web application vulnerabilities. And now I'm going to cover cross-site scripting attacks. What is a cross-site scripting attack? Cross-site scripting attack is including unwanted scripts in your page because our inputs in our forms are not sanitized. So if an attacker tries to add some script, unwanted malicious script in our page, he may access the user's cookies, he may access a lot of stuff, which later he can use to access unauthorized uh, resources. So an attacker will use a form on our site to store a script tag in the application database. Then on some of the view pages, that, that script is rendered and executed if we don't sanitize it. So cookies or other sensitive information may be stolen. By default, ASP.NET Core and Razor save you from these attacks but sometimes you may want to render HTML content. For example, if you have rich forms or uh, a blog when you need, where you need to have a, what you see is what you get editor or whatever, but there are situations in which you may want to save HTML and render HTML. In ASP.NET Core, you can render it by using at html.raw, some HTML, and that will render the HTML as it is. The problem is that if this HTML contains a script tag, the browser will execute it. So we need to save ourselves. So what kind of rules we need to follow to be secured? First, we should never put untrusted data in our HTML, HTML output. If the HTML is coming from an administrator in our site or from some sort of a mod moderator, which we trust, then it's completely fine. But if an end user can uh, save HTML in our database, then we need to secure it somehow. We need to encode it, parse it, validate it, check it, uh, fortunately, there are ready to be used tools, but untrusted data can be in inputted anywhere in our application. So what we can do is use a third party tool to sanitize any user data. It's available as a NuGet package and it's called HTML Sanitizer. I'm going to open that here. This is the HTML sanitizer. It sanitizes the HTML we want to output in a way that all uh, script tags or everything related to this kind of attack is secured. But let's first see how this attack can be added on our website. So let's say that we have an uh, input which is not secured. For example, this one, search text. The search text uh, action will add a cookie response because we want to steal the cookie and see how it can be, uh, this cookie can be uh, retrieved by an attacker. In the view page, what we do is we have some form and we render the form by using HTML raw. So this essentially will render the HTML the same way as it is inputted. And that's the problem. So every time we need to do HTML raw, we need to sanitize it by using the HTML sanitizer before visualizing it. And additionally, we should always use cookie which HTTP only option turned on. These are the two rules we need to follow cookies should be secured and the data should be sanitized because otherwise this may happen. If I go to cross-site scripting, I will see that if I enter a valid HTML, the browser will render it completely fine, which is a problem because as we can see, the HTML is working. Currently, we added a cookie 
which is my important cookie, which allows us to authorize, for example. So now let's see how to steal it. If we add a script tag, which creates an image and says that the image source is some external URL, currently we are using the same server, but that's not important, some external URL plus document.cookie and then we append the HTML to that image to our HTML. And then what will happen? The attacker on the external server may get the cookie and store it on a file and then use it to access unauthorized information. So if we try to run first this, we will see that the, the browser executes the JavaScript as is because because we are rendering HTML raw without sanitizing it. Then the second thing I'm going to execute this code here, which essentially means create an image and the image is located here. And is, if the image is located here, the browser will make a get request to this URL here and it will append the cookie to it. So currently that URL is essentially this action which creates stolen cookies here and the attacker this way can get the cookies. So if I go here and enter the script tag and hit search, nothing particularly happens and that's because the image couldn't be loaded and its width and height is zero. So there is no image here, but the image, but the request was made and the image was uh, rendered. The browser tried to send a request here and appended the current document cookie. So if that script is saved into the database and a an user opens the view page without knowing that the website is compromised, he will send his cookies to the external URL and then the attacker can use these cookies to uh, enter unauthorized content. So if I go to stolen cookies, we will see that we have the cookie information here coming from localhost. This is a very easy way to hack a website if the website is not secured. So what we can do here is we need to install HTML sanitizer and sanitize the search text before rendering it in our view page with HTML raw because otherwise bad things may happen. Good, that is essentially cross-site scripting attack and if you want to play with the code, I will show you where you can find it. It's available on my GitHub profile, which is Ivaio Kenov. Hit repositories, then write down TV. And here you can find all the code I upload in my YouTube channel. I will appreciate if you give me a star. You may also watch the repository because this way you will receive a lot of uh, notifications for every advanced C-sharp lesson I upload. And if you're interested in exclusive advanced content for C-sharp developers, make sure you check, I, check out my Patreon. I upload exclusive videos there, for example, optimizing web applications for performance, database indexes made simple, data structure efficiency, and more. Every month I upload additional content there. Good guys, thank you. This was cross-site scripting attack and if you find the video useful hit the thumbs up button and if you have any questions you may leave them down below in the comments. Next video I'm going to cover cross-site request forgery.